All right, we got the leather cut here, and I used this little feller to do the majority of the cutting. Just make sure that's good and sharp and uh, and stropped before I start cutting with it. And what I like about it is I can store the blade so the sharp pointy part is pointing inward. That way, there's no chance of damaging it. Well, less chance. Right now, though, I'm going to go ahead and bevel edges um, on the bottom and here. And then I'm going to mold it. And the reason for that is um, since I'm dyeing it brown, I know that if I dye it first and then fold it over to make it into a holster, that um, it'll, it'll be lighter right along the fold line. And I don't want that. So what I do to help prevent that is I go ahead and I do some molding prior to dyeing. But I'm going to go ahead and do some beveling first. So I'm going to bevel this bottom edge and this top edge here. And we'll be back. Okay, we got the leather good and wet. So we're just going to take our dummy gun, set it in there, and just roll the leather around it. And see how that'll fit. Okay, they'll fit just about like that for the finished product. And you got your belt loop back here. Actually, I'm not going to mold it around the gun now. I'm just getting it to bend some. And actually, it looks like it's going to fit the gun rather well. It doesn't look like I'm going to need a welt or anything on it. So basically, I'm just going to keep mashing it for a little while. Actually, that looks good enough right there. And that should be enough to prevent the uh, the edge from, from getting lighter after it's dyed and after it's folded over. Because, well, it's already folded over. Now I'm going to let that dry for a while. Check the fit of the belt through here. And uh, we'll be back when we get a little bit further. I'll tell you what, how about this? Stick that in there. It'll be like that. And it'll have a reverse cant because this is for a cross draw. Right? See you see a little bit. 